Hey, you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are in Puyallup, Washington. Pretty sure that's not how you say it right. But anyways, I've been on a goal to visit all 50 state fairs here in the United States of America. And, and so far, I have visited eight state fairs, which makes me feel like I'm a very long way away from my goal. But today, we add number nine, as we are here at the Washington State State Fair, or as they call it here, the Washington State Fair. Now, I have not visited, I don't think this may be my first West Coast Fair. I've visited a lot of coasts, a lot of fairs on the East Coast so far, so I think this will be uh, interesting to see how they do things fair-wise here on the West Coast. So please, follow me. Here we enter to the great sights and of course smells of the state fair. Now normally here at state fairs I like to show off different farm animals, but here at the Washington State Fair we actually have a tent where they show off dinosaurs. Oh, here we go. Look at this giant Spinosaurus right here. Oh, there he goes. Is he gonna roar? Maybe. Can you give us a little roar there? Oh, a little bit. There we go. Some dinosaur eggs in here. Let's see what happens when we push this button. Oh, see the baby dinosaur fetuses wiggling for freedom. All right, we have a map of the world here that challenges us to recreate Pangea to mash these all together into the supercontinent of Pangea. There we go. Just mush them in there. Get a good old, good old continent clump going. Ah, there we go. Pangea, the supercontinent. Here's some Pachycephalosauruses. They like to use their heads there to battle each other. There they are engaging in a, a duel of the skulls, bashing their skulls together for dominance. Now, I did not expect to see you here at the Washington State Fair in the dinosaur exhibit. It's Zoltar. Let's give uh, Zoltar his dollar, his dollar that he craves right there. You may have heard this, but Zoltar is here to tell you you can believe it. Age is simply a matter of mind. If you don't mind, then my friend, it doesn't matter. So go on, be carefree like a little baby. But first, give Zoltar a little money and I will give you a fortune. Now this is not a Triceratops, this is a Kentrosaurus. Oh yes, yes, he is a Kentrosaurus. It's agreeing with me. Although, wagon, wagon is Thagomizer there. You can wag this dinosaur tail here. Oh, this is what they do when they're happy. Now you may think this is a T-Rex, but again, this is an off-brand dinosaur. This is an Albertosaurus. How are you doing there, Bert? Been, been eating anything interesting? Oh, look at him blinking his eye at us. Oh, here's the raptors. These are the, these are the feathery, the feathery version of the raptors here. What do you guys prefer? Do you like the, the Jurassic Park lizardy raptors or the more true to life feathery raptors? I don't know, I kind of like the feathers. You can actually control the baby Amargosaurus here. Let's see, you can make his head turn with this button. Oh, there he goes, turns his head. Make his head go up and down, up and down. You can open his mouth there. Ah, uh, say ah. Uh, his neck up and down. Yes. 
Yeah, as big as tail sway. See him moving his backside there. Oh, and this last button will make him make a sound. Sounds like an elephant. Here's the ferocious Carnotosaurus. It's almost like a T-Rex with devil horns. It says uh, push buttons to activate. I don't know what these specific buttons do, but we'll just hit. We'll hit all of them. Oh, what are you doing there? Okay. Yes. No. Oh, here we have the Stegosaurus. We'll push to activate him. He's just got one button there that activates him. And what is the connection between state fairs and uh, hot tubs? Every state fair I've been at seems to have a tent that sells hot tubs. Do people come to the state fair expecting to purchase a hot tub? Or uh, do hot tubs and state fairs just appeal to the same people? Here at the State Patrol, they have a detailed story of how a uh, police officer's car was struck by a drunk driver while making a uh, making a stop which caused the patrol car to smash into this car that it was pulling over it looks like there's some exhibits in here on the Washington State Patrol it's an exhibit on uh, radar guns here all the different radar guns over uh, over the years, this was used from the mid 1980s to the early 2000s. Got a lot of use out of that particular radar gun. See some police mannequins here. You can mark where in Washington you are from using these stickers, but you know what? I'm not from Washington, so I cannot participate. Hello there. How you doing? I'm doing great. Are you going to the fair? I am. You going to the fair? Yeah. What's I your? Swim how much further to the fair? He's right You're right for me. Oh, I met. Oh, this hey. is it. Nice hat. Sir. Hey, how's it going? That's a good hat, right? Oh, there. thank you, sir. You think this horse makes my butt look big? Oh, I. Do. We're seriously three different companies, right here, just selling hot tubs. Now I always feel one of the best ways to get the lay of the land at a state fair is to hop aboard the sky ride see it heading in to the station there kind of an interesting design on the station Getting in our little capsule there. Oh. All right, we're sealed inside. This gentleman's gonna send us in to the sky. Looks like he's got a pull. Oh, yeah, pulls that string and that releases us into the air. Go. This is very similar to the. Uh, Minnesota State Fair, or a uh, sky ride, kind of a little capsule here. They do have uh, the screen there to allow fresh air in. So it's a uh, nice, you know, you can get a nice breeze while you're traveling through the sky. Heading over the adult midway known as Thrillville here. You can see the, the zipper operating. Let's see uh, what rides we should spot. I do see, okay. Apparently they have, there's a wooden roller coaster back there. A permanent wooden roller coaster. Um, yeah, I think we should try that. I didn't know they had like a permanent roller coaster on site here. See all the people there, like little ants eating their eating their fair food. Oh, there we go. Big twirling 
device there. I rode something similar to that at the New York Fair. Oh man, look at the crazy angle that one gets. All right, heading back down into the Skyride Station. Thank you. Oh, you see the actual Olympic logo there on the Matterhorn ride. Oh, you can see that. People riding in those little capsules, being spun. It's like the ride's actually lowering down right now. See, it's called the Enterprise. It's actually got the alien and predator creatures on it. Yeah, it looks like the alien and predator doing almost some sort of interpretive dance. And here is the classic coaster as it's called a wooden coaster built here a permanent fixture of the Washington State Fair oh, here they come this fence here in front of the coaster is interesting you can see like little kids peeking through the fence there you have a little pig peeking through the fence so let's see what happens when you peek through the fence oh there's there's a cow in here. It's a cow in here for some reason. Let's see, peek through this balloon. And a pink spotted cow over here. See, I think we're gonna have to give this a try. So we wait in line for the roller coaster. They have a little exhibit here on the old mill. I guess this is an extinct ride. You can see a replica of the old mill going in there. Two people kissing as they head into the old mill. And uh, the ride vehicle there. And looks like the old like mill wheel itself. And of course, because we're in Washington, there is uh, Sasquatch. Okay, here's why we don't have the old mill, because in 1970, it was completely destroyed in a fire, burnt to the ground. It says that some of the roller coaster was burnt as well. And as you can see from this photo here, Sasquatch himself has uh, hopped aboard this particular roller coaster. Now all the trains have unique names. We will be riding in blazing blue. Sitting here near the back. All right, here we go. Oh, it's got a little bit of a little bit of ricketiness to it. Woohoo, here we go. <laughs> See the fair over that way. Oh my gosh, this is so high. We're gonna be like a big drop right away. Oh my gosh! Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the big drop. Here's the big drop. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> I felt like I was gonna fly out there. Oh my gosh. I really felt like I, I thought for a second I had flown out of my seat. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's still going. It's still going here. Oh my god. A tight turn there. Oh my gosh! Oh! Woo! Yeah, when I uh, went down, it felt like I like almost like stood completely up. It was pretty terrifying. Oh my gosh! So time to hop aboard the Haunted Mansion, the dark ride that I last saw in another country when we visited the uh, CNE in Toronto, Canada. All right, and our chariot awaits. Oh, here we go. Heading in. What's this? 
guys. The electric here being electrocuted. Dark, is something gonna happen? Oh, yeah, that's scary. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, no. Oh, who's that? Mortifying. Oh, I love the screaming. Oh, back to the fair. See Dracula and his wives there. Rest in peace. So I stand corrected. This is not the same haunted mansion from c and &E in Toronto. The exterior is exactly the same. The painting, the mural, all the details, well, are pretty close to the same. Because I went through there and I'm like, this seems different. So I got, I, I actually pulled up my video from the c and &E and went through it. And this is not the same ride. There's actually even, I even compare their slight differences to the exterior art, but it's uh, otherwise very, very similar. So it must have been created as part of a, uh, there's been multiple created at the same time. But yeah, the scares were different on the inside. And I even noticed a few, yeah, like a few differences. Like Dracula's Brides here, they do not have uh, pupils in their eyes. But uh, on the other one, they did. And check this out. Here's another dark ride that I have never rode. Ghost Pirates. Let's see the very spooky ghost pirate captain up there turning the wheel of his ship. It says, horn swagglers and scoundrels must walk the plank. Signed, Captain Ron. I guess this is, uh, this is old Captain Ron here. You can see that skull wagging back and forth above the ride vehicles. And the ride vehicles look like they're actually crates full of spices. That one says garlic. That one back there says pepper. So interesting having spice crates for uh, ride vehicles. My chariot waits. Oops, is abandoned. All hope ye who enter here. Oh. Quickly abandon my hope. Oh, oh, what's that? It's a, it's a skeleton head. A little bit dark in here, maybe. Oh, there was someone's face that splattered against the glass there. All right, we jump scared at any moment here. Oh, there! Look at that. Oh, that's really spooky. It's like a squid man. You guys saw that, right? Who's that? Oh, it's Skull. Oh, there's the fortune teller. Oh, put where's the dynamite plunger down there. And then a, a big scary pirate right there as well. Oh, and we are back. Back to the state fair. See that? That one says pepper. I don't know what mine says. All right, I was riding in garlic. Now, one thing I've never seen before, they actually include two games with their wristband. So uh, let's try to let's try to win Jen something nice. Here is the clown tooth knockdown. I guess you got to knock down all three of the clown's teeth here. <laughs> all right, so got to knock out all three of his teeth. So. See here. Oh, knocked down one. Got three more balls, let's see. Oh, two. Two, okay. Oh man, this is a lot of pressure here. Oh, whiffed. I guess I won't be bringing a tiny llama home to Jen. Here's an interesting old carnival game. This is the dip bowler. You gotta try to get 
the bowling ball in the dip there without hitting the end, without having it come back. You gotta just, like, it's a game of finesse, not of strength. You gotta try to ease it right in to uh, the perfect position. All right, let's see what we can get it to stay in the dip here. Just a little. Uh, what's that? A tiny bit more. Oh no! <laughs> All right, one more. One more try. And a little too little the first time, a little too much that time. Did you get on the ship? Yeah, we get three tries for It's a winner. It's a winner. I won. I won for real. <laughs> Or a narwhal. Oh, yeah, a, a narwhal, please. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I won. I can't believe I won. Oh my goodness, it has been a long summer. Been a long summer of losing at games, at losing at claw machines, at plunking money into claw machines. At, at, at losing at carnival games, I cannot, I am still in shock. I cannot believe that I won. I played two games here, the two games that were included with my wristband, and I actually won. I'd never actually played that uh, bowling game before, so that was a just beginner's luck, I guess. I've, I, I feel so, I've come home to Jen empty handed so many times, so finally I get, a, get to add this adorable little narwhal to her plushie collection. Yeah, <laughs> I won. All right, little guy, let's celebrate here at Mardi Gras. You can see them celebrating Mardi Gras there as we prepare to head into the mirror maze. All right, there's a lot of people crammed here into this particular mirror maze. All right, now I've learned, I've learned the trick the trick to beating a mirror maze like this, this style, is you gotta look at the ground. You look at your feet, and it's much easier to tell the difference between what's a mirror and what's a not mirror when you're looking at your feet. One time I got stuck in one of these for like 10 minutes, but just by looking at my feet, I made it right through. All right, guess we're gonna head upstairs to Mardi Gras there. Got an alligator playing the drum. Got some funhouse mirrors there. Hello, everybody. Hello. Woo I look down from the balcony here. Get a good look. At the people celebrating the fair. Oh, I do really love this possum playing the trumpet right there. All right, little guy. You ready to? Go down the slide. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's get out of here before a kid hits me from behind. Here we have another uh, fun house the rodent themed rat race. Look this rat here with a racing flag as we head in. All right. Familiar with these at this point. Gotta walk slowly. Oh my gosh, there's children screaming in here. The cat right there, and then oh, this woman is terrified of the mouse there. I guess this is like ropes. Ropes we gotta try to get through here. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, that's harder than it looked. Okay, what's this do? What's this? Is this? Okay, it flops from side to side here. This one spins. Oh, whoa, that one actually spread air on me. Right there. And uh, little mouse in the car here. Oh, this one's slippery. Oh my goodness. Foam thing dangling in our face. There we go. There. Woo! Oh, 
here it is. Got the, the barrel to go through. Only rule, no handstands. So yeah, that seems, it would, it seems like it would be foolish there. So, little hamster run here in the barrel. Oh, I think I'm being pushed out by a herd of children. And my nemesis, the zipper. I have been on this ride before, not gonna be doing it again. But what I find interesting is the description here. It says the zipper is a violent, high-speed turbulent ride. They actually use the word violent to describe the zipper. And you know what? I agree. The Sinbad ride here. That's gonna twirl them all the way around, but definitely love the murals here. That big purple, big purpley cyclops there. Oh, are they going all the way around? No, not yet. All right, now heading into Sillyville. Hopefully it's not excessively silly. A roller coaster with a mouse wearing a hat. That is pretty silly. They're legally distinct flying elephant ride. It's called Circus Jumbo. Actually has a picture of, uh, of Dumbo on it. See the stork there carrying the elephant as well. The giant rubber ducky wearing sunglasses. That's, that's pretty silly. Oh, this is the farm of Sillyville. And see they have some very large apples, pears, and onions there. Oh, I think that might be a big old potato. This building here is shaped like a carrying case for milk bottles. So the giant milk bottles out of the top there. Oh yeah, and just look at the size of these cobs. See the children riding on the backs. Crocodiles here. Oh, here's a pretty fun looking fun house. This is the enchanted castle, kind of a medieval castle themed fun house. See royal mice there eating some cheese. Got a very spooky witch. Oh, that's Hansel and Gretel back there in cages. Oh, sorry, little girl, that's not your grandma. All right, let's head inside. Got all sorts of wacky stuff happening. These steps here moving. Oh, unevenly. And then this whole room in here is shaking and moving back. Oh my gosh. All right, heading into this black light area. We got one of those spinny things we can stand on here. Oh <laughs> Spinny just sitting here twirling inside the enchanted cat. All right. I really, that really actually made me dizzy. Oh my gosh. These, uh, these are kind of creepy. Here, little candies with faces. It's very unusual imagery. Look at that candy cane tree there. Where are we going? Oh, there's there's Hansel there in the cage. We're going out onto the balcony there with the witch. You can see Gretel there in the cage. The floor going up and down. Oh, there's the gingerbread man. Walk through here, up onto another balcony. We got slippery feet. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, headed downstairs into the dungeon of the enchanted castle. See the very spooky trees there. Okay, I don't know what this thing is here. Does it? Kind of just, all right. I think this maybe was spinning at one point. Oh, look at that big troll right there. Oh my gosh, here in the spinning barrel, this is the, this is the, the thing of nightmares right here. The barrel that is now, now free of children. Just enjoy it here for a second, do a little, little hamster walk and then head her way out of the enchanted castle. Actually, this, this scramble doesn't seem to be doing much scrambling. This is a, this is a gentle scrambler. Now we have the barn dance funhouse here. A, uh, a funhouse themed after a barn. This poor cow here looks like it may have been animatronic 
at one point. You can see it's kind of on like a retractable arm. There's a fox stealing a pie. And there is a cow holding a fresh cow pie. Of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, cow pies is what they call cow poop. That's why there's flies. This is a this is a this is a ride themed after uh, eating <laughs> eating poop. And a fish playing the banjo. I think we've hit peak silliness here. And I think that's Bob Marley as a uh, cob of corn. All right, heading in. This funny looking goat right here, but yeah, some very confusing stairs. Oh my god! Oh my god! All right. Oh, okay, okay. Up these stairs right here. And uh, where to next? Okay, looks like we got another one of these uh, rubber bungee, bungee mazes. Let me see if I can, okay. Bungee, so many, so many cords, so many cords. And then, uh, all right, then we can spin here at the barn dance. It's actually, there's actually four of these spinning plates at our feet. So let's take them one at a time there. Oh my god. There we go. Me and my narwhal hanging out in the barn. Alright, don't know these lights do. She can just play with them. You know, these ones, these weren't are these ones aren't illuminated. Does this do something right here when you step on it? And it just vibrates. It's pretty nice. Some more sliding feet. One day I am going to like wipe out on these things. Okay. Alright, back down the crazy stairs here. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. There we go. Oh, I think that pig there is supposed to be Willie Nelson. Now recently there was one of these slides in uh, Detroit that went viral because of how slippery and scary and violent it was. And I don't think I've ever rode a slide quite like this. So let's hop aboard the giant slide here at the State Fair. All right, gotta grab one of these old rugs here to, to slide on. Oh, oh, there we go. That's a big rug. Oh my gosh, I hope I do not hurt myself sliding down this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that person had a baby. Oh, here comes a whole group of sliders. All right, not too bad. You gotta lug your mat all the way to the top here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The chariot awaits. All right, I said to hold on to my hat. Did you scoot, scoot, scoot? No, hold on to my hat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Woo! Oh. This ride here is called Bear Affair. I guess the affair being that you are inside the stomach of a bear, and the bears themselves are rotating. Look at this thing right here. I've never seen anything quite like that. See, each arm there has like two different vehicles on it. It kind of spins as it twirls. Oh, look at that, up and down and in a circle. Pretty crazy. The official State Fair merch in here, and it does appear that the mascot for the Washington State Fair is uh, just good old Sasquatch himself. Right here we got the poop hats and almost every flavor imaginable. Oh, I think I've not seen this one before. The angel turd. Now is the time we try to hunt us down a good carnival dinner. Maybe we can check for food here in the fair food court. Got a lot to choose from in here. We got elephant ears, traditional fair food. We got some hot scones. We'll try something here at the Extreme Carnival Eats stand. All right, I'm not entirely 
sure what I ordered here. This is called the Korean Big Cheese on a Stick. Said it was some sort of fried cheese. It's very heavy. How much cheese is, is in this and why is it Korean? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. All right, a little nervous to bite into this. I don't know how molten the cheese is on the inside, so let's give it a little, a little bite. Ah, oh yeah. Oh. All right, that is a massive log of cheese. I don't know if that is Korean cheese. I don't know if Korean cheese is even a thing. But, oh, it's very crunchy. And a very, very crunchy wrapping to it. And, mm, and that's some good cheese as well. And I'm afraid to just bite into it. That melty cheese will, will melt my face off. Yeah, you can actually see it does have kind of a thick crust of fried dough on it, but then the inside is just all melty cheese. Yeah, almost kind of like, kind of like, almost like a corn dog, but instead of like a hot dog, it's just pure cheese inside. So like a vegetarian corn dog, I don't know. I think I'm gonna actually have to tap out on this one. As, as, as good as that is, that is just very heavy and very rich. I don't think I could actually eat that last chug there. So there's a grand opening of a new history experience this way. And here it is, the Washington State Fair history experience. Looks like their mascot used to be George Washington himself. Some fair artifacts here. Here are some old trophies given out. This one here is for the best display of fruit. Here are some items from the Rocco Plain amusement park ride. They have the ticket booth and the sign here. Oh, here's a photo up here. We can stand in front of a giant pumpkin. My oh my, that is one big pumpkin. Another photo op here where we can pose with the scooter or bumper car as they are now more commonly known as. There's some other old ride parts here from the giant mixer. I guess this would be some sort of swing type ride. You can see the swings hanging right there, and then this would be the ticket booth. We'll be hopping back aboard the Sky Ride and taking it to the other side of the fairgrounds. Classic coaster there, lit up at night. And a gentle ride over the midway. All the chaos is happening underneath. No chaos happening in this capsule. Oh, look at that giant hot tub down there. Back into the station. So thank you guys for joining me here today at the Washington State Fair. Nine state fairs down, only 41 to go. Leave suggestions in the comment section of what fairs you think I should check out next. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos arrive. I do upload regularly and I travel around the United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, 
haunted houses and other fun stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling no scares on stairs enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Currently all that information is in the description of this video and all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this narwhal in the water, and this sky lift in the air. Until next time my friends, this one's in the bag.